loves. So today I just want to kind of chat with you about something that happened in my life really recently and if you follow me on any of my social media platforms you probably already saw. Uh, but for those of you who did not and you clicked on this because you're like, what the heck, Chloe? I was on the cover of Scorch's February slash March issue. Scorch Magazine is an incredible, incredible just platform for women who are passionate about body positivity and body confidence. They don't edit their photos. Um, they frequently feature curvy girls, anything from like a size 12 basically to uh, 32. So it really means a lot to me that they thought of me for their swimsuit feature. And I understand like this is going to kind of be an all over the place video. I'm just really going to talk to you guys because I have a lot of thoughts and I have a lot of things I want to say um, and I just want to talk about my experience and by the way there is a behind the scenes vlog up on my second channel and it will be linked down below as well as at the end of this video. It's really fun you guys should definitely go and check it out and subscribe while you're there. A lot of people still don't know about my second channel. I play video games and vlog over there. Um, okay so I am a plus size swimsuit model and not only that, I'm on the cover of a magazine. And I'm on the cover of a magazine as myself. Does that even make sense? There's something so empowering about the fact that I'm on that cover and it's an unedited photo of me. Um, now granted, I was flipping through the pages of the magazine, which again is out and you can read it down below. And I was flipping through and one of the close-ups, I'm like, oh my god, I have a zit. You can see that zit. But like... Then I really sat there and I was like, this is, this is a huge day in my life. Um, it was yesterday when the issue came out when I'm filming this. And it was such a massive day in my life and it was so important to me. And I will never be able to explain the things that I felt and how proud I was. But at the same time, I want to be conscious of the fact that that was not just a huge day for me. It's a huge day for women everywhere. When a plus size woman is on the cover of a swimsuit issue of a magazine, unedited. We don't get to see real bodies in the media very often. Very rarely do we see real bodies. Um, now, does that mean that I think that women who are a size 2 who are in the magazines are not real? You know, those aren't real bodies? Absolutely 110% not. Um, I think that every kind of body is beautiful and I think that acceptance of everyone is so crucial. What I mean by this is that I was on the cover of that magazine and nothing was changed or altered about me. Every tiny imperfection you can see in those photos. Now granted we had to be a bit more strategic about posing and things like that because they can't go in and if I have let's say a fat roll or something like that they can't go in and edit that out. You know what I mean? It's a part of me and very much so not as I'm, I'm realizing more and more and more it's not an imperfection it's just a part of my body and there's just something so incredible about the fact that, yeah, a size 14, 16 woman was on the cover of this magazine in a bikini, but it's more empowering that it really was my body. Like, nothing was altered, nothing was changed, I wasn't slimmed down, and there wasn't a type of ideal that I was being forced into. It was just me. It was just my body. And so that's what I think is so, this is so much more than me, and it's not about me. And that's that's kind of why I'm here today to talk to you guys, because I just had this revelation. I was like sitting there, and I was genuinely excited, but I wasn't excited because this was a thing that happened in my life. I was excited because for someone who's feeling down and out about the way that they look, and for someone who's feeling uncomfortable in their own skin, I hope, to just with all of my heart, I hope that that person could see my body and know, like, that's what I genuinely look like. You can see the cellulite and you can see my pimple on my face. Scorch is a trailblazer in a million different ways, in the fact that they don't edit photos and in the fact that they're not trying to push anyone into a mold. They're not interested in creating, you know, they're not interested in, like, photoshopping to create an hourglass figure or make me look 10 sizes smaller than I am whereas most I feel like most media outlets would be 
I think that they're incredible in that sense and it's a reason why they are one of the biggest plus size resources and I think like the biggest plus size magazine out there. I might be totally wrong. Um, but I think, I believe, in my mind they are, in my heart they are. I just wanted to say that I had such an incredible, all of that aside, I had such an incredible experience working with people on set and it was such a mind-blowing thing to feel like I was being, like, I felt like in the chair. Okay, so before all of this, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I've seen this magazine before. Like, I flipped through the pages. I'm an actual literal potato compared to those women, right? Like, I'm looking at myself without makeup in the mirror and I'm like, there's no way. They cannot transform me into this crazy model lady and teach me how to pose and all that. But they were so understanding and so forgiving with the fact that I'm not a model by trade. That's not what I do for a living. And they just taught me so much. They were so patient, so kind. Um, the photographer, Nicole, was the most just gentle person. And she wasn't one of those people who was like, stop doing that. She was very encouraging and like, okay, that's good. Let's build on top of that. They very much so like kind of let me do my own thing and then built on top of it and kind of showed me how to improve what I was already doing instead of totally correcting it, you know what I mean? Um, the hair and makeup artist on set, and I wanted to address this, it was an editorial shoot, you know, the makeup was extreme, it was out there, but it wasn't made to look natural. I feel like some people were trying to be nice about it and one girl was like, I think you could have done a better job, but that's so rude and it's not nice because the hair and makeup artist on set um, her name is Stephanie, and she was so wonderful, first and foremost at what she does. She's so meticulous, and she has an eye for detail I will never understand. She just, she taught me so much as well um, about, you know, because I'm also like a big beauty vlogger, so she taught me a lot about it, and I never wear my makeup, you know, crazy winged out, and I never over-exaggerate my features, but that is something to understand, you guys. Like, this wasn't... I wasn't supposed to look natural, you know what I mean? This was very much so like an editorial style shoot. So um, for anyone who said that the makeup was not on point or that they didn't like it, and that's all you, but um, I think that it turned out so cool and it, it looked so bomb in my mind and I felt like such a badass. <laughs> um, I was like sitting there in my raggedy hoodie afterwards about to leave for the, my flight like I am feeling myself like Beyonce and Nikki going on in my head um, anyways so they were just incredible and then the editor-in-chief Tiffany is a godsend like she rocked my whole freaking world um, and I will link all of them down below and of course Jessica Kane a huge massive thank you to Jessica who also has a blog um, she was the one who kind of helped me figure out exactly what we were doing in the very beginning of this. I probably would have said no, like, to all of this. I would have thought that I could never in a million years be a plus-size swimwear model thing on the cover of a magazine um, if it weren't for Jessica, because she was so encouraging and so nice, and she was kind of my driving force in this. And I just wanted to... I wanted to extend a huge thank you to those ladies, um, and if you really do want to see the behind the scenes, it will be down below, like I said, and at the end of this video. And I know I'm getting kind of rambly, um, but this just all means so... I don't want to get emotional. I'm going to get emotional. I can already feel it. But this means so much to eight-year-old me who wanted so badly to be a singer songwriter. I wanted so badly to be a singer when I grew up. And I was told by everyone in my life, my parents included, that I couldn't do that because I was a chunky girl. And it was an achievable goal, but I had to lose weight first. And I couldn't be in the spotlight. I couldn't be a star, essentially. And I couldn't do what I wanted to do because I'm a big girl. And it means so much to 21 year old me, more than anyone could ever know, but it means so much to know that that little girl who had no one to look up to and had no like plus size role models today would. 
and today could see someone in a magazine. And again, this isn't like blowing smoke at my own ass. I don't think I'm like this amazing model all of a sudden or anything like that. I do think, however, that the vision that Scorch had and the way that they executed this and the message that they're just portraying into the world is so important and it's so necessary. I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity and I'm thankful that I could be a part, just a tiny little sliver of this message that is so much larger than me in a bikini. Um, it makes me so happy. I it, That's just kind of the end. Can we just like take a moment? I'm so happy that I could be a part of something so much bigger than me. Um, and I like to think that my body positivity and body sensitive topic videos, they are bigger than me. They're not about me. They're not about my struggles. They're about you and helping you feel better about the skin that you're in because I don't want you to feel bad about yourself. I look at every single one of you and you are one of the main reasons that I continue to do this. And I'll be like totally upfront right now and say that, yeah, I definitely do it for myself. I continue to make videos and I continue to talk about fashion and body positivity and makeup because I genuinely enjoy it. And that I think will always be my number one at the end of the day because I have to still love this. But I also look at every single one of you and I look at the emails that you send me and I read your comments and your messages and I know you probably don't think that I see your Instagram message you sent me two months ago, but I promise you I try my hardest to. I see what you guys are saying and I see the things that you're going through and your struggles and your hardships and you are the driving force behind why I want to do things that make me scared. In particular, this. This was terrifying. I've never done more than a photo shoot with a local model. In 2014, one of my New Year's resolutions was I wanted to be a plus size model. Um, if you guys watched, I know I still have it up. I'm actually going to link it down below because I think it's mind blowing now. But I said in 2014 that I wanted to be a plus size model. And I started working with small photographers here and there. But you know, life got in the way. YouTube is my career. Um, this is my job. And so it, there wasn't enough time really to be working with too many photographers. The last time I had a shoot was in like, I think August or something like that for a lookbook actually. Um, but it's crazy to think that this time last year in my little brain, I was starting to believe that I maybe possibly could be a model. And now I'm on the cover of a magazine. It's a very humbling feeling, but again, I want to I want to emphasize that this isn't like, oh, good for me. You know what I mean? Like I do think this was a great opportunity for me, but I think even more so, it was an opportunity for me to give the world a glimpse at a real body in a real bikini. Um Everything that was shown, by the way, is from Swimsuits for All, and they're probably the last person I want to say a huge thank you to because the swimsuits were the freaking bomb. They fit like a freaking dream, and they made the job a million times easier because they just went on the body and looked amazing. Um, I loved them so much. I wanted to take them all home. The entire time between the shoot and now, I've hoped that I lived up to Scorch's expectations and I've hoped that, you know, I wasn't like too horrible to work with and I wasn't too much of an amateur or anything like that. But now that this is out and it's in the world, so much more than that, I, I'm not even thinking about it anymore. Yes, I really hope you liked me at Scorch. Please love me. I love you guys. It's important for the body positive movement. Um, and it's important for anyone who feels down and out about themselves and wanted someone to see who looked like them. Or maybe who doesn't look like them, but who looks real and who doesn't look airbrushed or fake. And what I'm taking away from this is... First and foremost, I want to start editing my photos less because a lot of the times in particular, um, I don't like go through and like change my size or anything. I'm not good. I don't use Photoshop even. But yeah, a lot of the times if I have a zit, I will go through and I will correct the photo. I'll airbrush my face or I will tan my legs to match my upper torso or something like that if, you know, I forgot to spray tan or whatever. But past that, my 
like skills are non-existent essentially. I don't really think that there's anything wrong with editing a photo. I really don't. I don't think it's false advertisement or anything like that. I hate when people say that. I don't think that there's anything wrong with Photoshop. I don't think there's anything wrong with um, wanting to take those things away if you feel like they're distracting from the overall image. Um, so like if I'm showing you my smoky eye and I have a zit and I want to take away that zit, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. But I do really think that there was something so empowering about being in that magazine and being in those photos and knowing that's just me. Um, there's nothing added, there's nothing taken away, there's nothing corrected. So I definitely want to not do it as much. You know, I'm not like saying I'm just gonna stop shopping my pictures all together, but I do want to do it less. And I wanna make sure that at the end of the day, you guys still have someone to look at and know I'm a real human. Like I'm every bit as real as you. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I just wanted to thank Scorch so much for this. Again, I'll never be able to express what this means to me and I'll never be able to explain how it felt. And more so than that, the entire time, you guys didn't even know what was happening, but you were so supportive. And you were so kind and so generous with your comments and just understanding that even though I really wasn't telling you what was happening, that something big was happening. And now to read your comments, um, this one girl, actually, I want to find her username. I want to give her a shout out. She's a freaking doll. Morgan underscore Lynn 36 on Instagram. Holy shit. Guys, our girl is getting so popular. You better be a model one day very soon. Gosh, this is gorgeous. You'd be the best model. And then she said, sorry guys, fangirling really hard right now. So proud of you and all your hard work. And it wasn't, you know, like the compliments are amazing. And thank you so much for that. But it was the fact that like, I feel like you guys are my best friends in this with me. And I feel like you're so supportive of everything that I do. But in particular, this that meant so much to me, you were on board 100%. Even those of you who didn't love the hair or the makeup or the overall vision, you were on board and you were so nice and so supportive. And I just can't say thank you enough um, because without you, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, this wouldn't be my job. I wouldn't... <sighs> crap. Um, I wouldn't be able to do these things if it wasn't for the fact that you found me for some reason and you kind of like what I do or maybe you don't and you think I'm a train wreck and you just like to watch me but regardless no matter why you watch me thank you for taking the time out of your day to support what I do and that's just what I want to say um I know I think I really have said everything I want to say so I'm gonna go ahead and go I really hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see the behind the scenes footage it will be in a second here or down below um but yeah that's all thank you scorch thank you swimsuits for all thank you to the amazing team that i worked with for this um thank you for being so generous and understanding with your time and being so patient with me and thank you to you guys because you are literally my best friends and i would be nothing without you so um i love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Until then, please be safe, be happy, be positive. Um, and I'm thinking of you a lot today. And I just want you guys to know. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye. You got the face to fit the frame.